Right, hello everyone, it's time to play Clock Tower. As part of the ongoing sub-goal thing where I need to play all the Clock Tower games, I made a promise. I never said I'd play them all at the same time. But uh, they've been more spaced out than I would have found ideal, unfortunately. I didn't even really plan on streaming today, but uh, I suddenly found myself with free time. I will not specify why, but I was like, okay, I guess... I guess we're doing Clock Tower. I guess we're doing Clock Tower. Specifically, we're doing Clock Tower 2. The Struggle Within, or Ghost Head, as I'm probably going to go with, because that's the less confusing title. Now, crucially, I'm coming into this one armed with a walkthrough right out of the gate. Which, maybe that will disappoint you, but you kind of need one for this game. Like, the other thing as well is I'm not completely blind on Clock Tower 2. Or Clock Tower Ghost Head or whatever. Sammy, thank you for the six months. Game scene. Give it a moment. It'll... it'll... hang on. There you go. Scene. Me. It's kind of loud, isn't it? Is it loud? Let me check the volume. Maybe a bit loud. Turn that down a little bit. ASCII! From our good friends at ASCII comes Clock Tower Ghost Head. We must watch the intro. It's important. It's crucial, essential even. Essential knowledge. <laughs> also, observe, observe the paragraph uh, underneath the stream. The genealogy of these games is fucking stupid. <laughs> so like, I gotta... People ask me questions about like, even when I do have them under the stream, people still ask me questions about these. Like, and it's like this is this is the best this is the best I can do for you. I like that that is very clearly a Japanese train station in the background. Like that's that's. That's just a Japanese train station. People are definitely still going to ask. People don't like read words. I disagree. At Edweird Zero, thank you for the 14 months of dumb sub messages. Edweirdo, thank you for the 14 months of dumb sub messages with Prime Gaming. Tell me how this game doesn't make a good impression already. What with a banger tune like that? Alyssa just called. She'll be arriving tonight. Do you really think it's okay? Six having her stay with us? Cold Chaos, thanks for the tier one. The children don't and know Chief anything Asian. about it. It'll trigger in a Everything moment. Everything will be okay. I disagree. There you go. Anyway, Chief Asian, thank you for the tier soon. one. I appreciate it. Thank so you very worried. much. We are Alyssa. That might be Ashley. I'll go and see. Normal Californian houses. Alan Hale. That Maxwell curse is... <coughs> Mysterious scenes are occurring. Chapter One. Yellow cursed doll. I disagree. Hello, Uncle Philip. Six and Aunt success, Catherine, that's it's one whole year. Blackheart, thank you for the twelve months of Prime Gaming. <gasps> what was that? That wasn't like a taser going off. 
All right, here we go. I'm going to immediately take action by pressing this button. This isn't a required action, it's just I just I happen to remember this specifically being a thing. It's one of those games where the light switches are in the outsides of rooms that they light up because... Never do- I feel like that should be illegal, by the way. The light switch should always be in the same room as the thing that it lights up. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> a leg. Only a leg. I wonder what this yellow liquid is. <laughs> a leg. Only a leg. No, it's not the Japanese version. Most of my audience doesn't speak Japanese, crucially. Which makes streaming Japanese games difficult sometimes. Also, the English version of this game is like $400. It's one of the most expensive PS1 games. Investigate cupboard. I wonder what this key goes to. Dope. Off to a flying star. Dining key. Very nice, Solag, with the 69 bits. Well done. You guys triggered a hype train. I didn't even notice. What the fuck? <gasps> <gasps> what happened here? Crazy. <laughs> Oh, spooky music is happening. It's checking memory card. I will save the game now. Save okay. Sammy, thanks for the 100 bits. Time for the spoops. Everything but a leg. Is this door locked? I think it's locked. Oh no, I guess not. Because this is one of those games that doesn't, like, automatically open doors with keys. Because, of course, it's not one of those. Oh, the line's dead. Oh, the line's dead. I disagree. So many doors to check. Except for this one, which I can't... Why am I not allowed to click this door? Am I positioning the... Okay, because I played the, the like the first clock tower, or not the first, fuck it, this, this series genealogy is so dumb, dude. I remember that the game is often really fussy about where cursors need to be <laughs> in order for things to work. This fireplace can still be used. Right? Crack on, then. <laughs> Ah, the door. Okay, this key. Key me. I'm simply a adventure gaming genius. Truly. Keys in doors. Right, what's going on in here? Oh. <gasps> what is that? It's a good question. <laughs> what is that? I can't click on this door back here. Just doesn't. Just, just doesn't. What can I click on in this room? Not that door. Like it. It's it. it the curse is like not changing. Why yellow blood? I don't know. Click on this again. <laughs> It's only an arm? <laughs> For some reason I can't click on any of these doors. Alright, well then sod you. It's not even telling me like they're locked or anything, just I just can't open them. It just doesn't let you. It's only an arm. I got a hype train emote too, actually. Which one did I get? I got hype love one, whatever the hell that is.
I wonder why I can't click on like half the doors. What the fuck? Alright, upstairs we go then. The Samurai. See, this is one of the advanced pieces of knowledge of this game that I actually have. You need to interact with this, but at a certain moment... Too early and you bear no fruit at all. Too late and you're locked into a bad ending. Which is very, very stupid. Can click on this door, can't click on this door, can't click on that door, can click on this door. <laughs> okay. I mean, at least it's clear. Well, it's not clear at all, actually, like, but alright, you know. Oh, hell yeah. Clock Tower 2 poster. I can't click on it. Why not? Come on. My amulet? No, stop! Don't be afraid, Alyssa. And now we are the best character. We have become... Bates. I don't actually think we can do anything here right now, but here I am nevertheless. Check out this camera angle. Isn't that nice? Yeah, thought so. I should note this game has like four kids localization syndrome where all the character names have been changed in the American version of the game, because, I don't know, I don't know. So, like, Bates is called Sho in Japanese. Anyway, now that we are Bates, something fun has probably happened. This wooden floor made out of warped boards. I think that's just PS1 texture. Like, that's just PS1 texture warping. Now I can open some of the doors that I couldn't open before. I don't know why that matters, but it does. It's Alyssa's amulet. So that is one of the fundamental systems of Clock Tower Ghost Head, and I, like, I'm aware of this. I'm going in with, like, pre-existing knowledge, which is a, probably a good thing, honestly, because people get tripped on this for fucking ages. For one thing, the concept sort of... I've seen a lot of, uh... A lot of English speakers play this game who just don't really understand what this is. This is, this is, this is, this is one of those things that's sort of, like, it's, it's a... If I explain it to you, it will make sense. But it does not immediately pass if you are not quite used to, like... Japan things, for lack of a better word. This is a protective amulet. When you are holding it, you do not get possessed by baits. But you can put the amulet down somewhere. I don't really know where exactly. But you can put the amulet down and intentionally turn into baits. And that's the system of Clock Tower 2. Or Clock Tower Ghost Head. 
is turning into the right character at the right time. How do you know which character to use? You fucking don't. I've, I've seen people, like, play this game who, like, genuinely just don't pick up on how this works. I mean, it's in the manual, I think, but, you know, no one reads that. Clock. Yeah, you don't automatically turn into Bates if you put it down. You have to have, like, something stressful happen. Uh-oh. Speaking of something stressful happening. Ah! Oh, piss flaps. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hide behind the bar! <laughs> I might have done this too late. Yeah, I did. Okay, uh... Shake! Other rule of Clock Tower 2 system, you will always leave out the way you entered after being attacked by something. This is kind of annoying, candidly. This will sound stupid, but I think this game controls better than the, the first Clock Tower for PS1. If you want to use an item, you just mash on it, you don't have to double tap. Donk! We are, we are so good at this. <laughs> hey, what's, okay, hang on, what's it, what's back here? Okay, so that's the, Alyssa has to either attack with an object that she finds or uh, has to hide. Whereas Bates has different methods of dealing with things. Everything is normal here. Wow, it's so full. Good for you. Hey, Tokyo Swift. Welcome to Strim, and welcome everyone. I kind of skipped introductions because I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright, now that we've been attacked once... Again, another one. Imagine having this on the outside of a bathroom as well, because this is a bathroom door. At least I think it is. That's what bathroom doors look like, right? These people have three bathrooms. You have found a pistol. I have gun. Crucially, Alyssa cannot use gun. Uh, that is a Bates only thing. There's something written here. It says, help. Disturbing. Right, now, now we're going to poke this dude. Yeah, how creepy. There we go.
Yeah, I know, Yan. It's like, it's a very straightforward way of, uh, of translating that, isn't it? Alright, now that we have made the decision to activate the samurai statue, we have rescued ourselves from the possibility of being locked into a bad ending from the word go. It's one of those. Uh, where the fuck am I going? This is a good question. What am I up to now? That's pretty much the only thing you have to do that affects later chapters, I think. A statue? What is this? It, it's possessed. Ouch! It has some kind of power. I disagree. Yay, a punchy stream. I miss you. I never left. But Zero Ishtar, thanks for the 33 months. Oh, it must be broken. Ah, oh, what the fuck? that I can use in this room. Anything at all. Check, check. <laughs> I'll give him the business. Hey! You didn't even fucking hit him. Shit at this. I don't think that got rid of her. No, it did not. The music's still going. Ah, well, piss flaps. I'm dead. Ow. Right. Next order of business. The game's continue system is mercifully extraordinarily generous, so don't worry about that too much. Ooh, on the plus side, since that guy's moved, I can go in here now. Since the game cannot do two things trying to kill you at once. Uh, not really much going on in this room, is there? door back here, though. Oi! That's not fair. The game just stole control from me. Okay, I guess I'm not going this a ways. I tried to leave through that door, but the game decided to be more fun to fucking yank control away from me for like 10 seconds to do that. Still didn't really deal with the problem though. I've hit him with something twice now, and neither time has it been like, what's the point then? Candelabra did it like clean. Uh, 
I mean, in defense of the chair, Alyssa didn't even manage to fucking hit with it. There we go. I've managed to hide. We now return to your regularly scheduled playing the game. I was kind of in the middle of something when all that happened. Don't got this. Hmm. Place where I want to go lies beyond that samurai, which makes us a bit awkward. Their shoes are here, so they must be home. Astute observation. The door mysteriously won't open. What's fucking mysterious about it? Save the game. Ow. <laughs> I solved the problem by leaving and returning. Uncle Philip! Alyssa, you're okay. I'm okay. Uh, Uncle Philip, what happened? No time to explain now. You've got to hide. I've, I've got to hide, apparently. Do I... This house is huge. Oh. Wait, I just... I Oh. I looped. <laughs> I looped. I have found the first aid kit. Everything is normal here. Is it though? Is it really?
We have health. Yeah, it's represented by the color of the cursor, you see. Whenever you get into, like, an altercation, for lack of a better word, it it dips one color. So it goes from white to orange, and then orange to red, and then if you're at red, the next time you get into something... Uh, oh, hello. The next time you get into a scrap, you're just, you fucking die. This isn't even the room I want to be in anyway. I want to go outside. Much of the system is identical to Clock Tower, the other one. The previous Clock Tower game. Check out this head. Ashley! I wonder where Michael went. Log on. <gasps> it's 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 just okay. Log on. I wonder where Michael went. That's, that's not logging on. Guys, she isn't logging on. Is this the door I... Hang on. What? This The camera angle has, like, done a 180 and it's confused me. I wonder where Michael went. <laughs> keep Keep asking yourself that. Oh, I found a key. Go me. It's the bedroom key. The key for bedrooms. <laughs> Where did Michael go? Vote now on your phones. Ah, piss flaps. I'm in vault. Okay, well... I'm currently stuck. The game is not letting me move. Because the samurai spawned in front of me. Okay, see, I dodged once, and I'm going to immediately leave the way I came. You see now the color of my cursor is orange? That means I can only take one more hit. I guess I'm going the long way back around. Because I know what to do now. Now that I have bedroom key. Can you whack that statue with a stick? No. You can shoot it. But only if you're Bates. Which I'm currently not. Can you use the medkit to remedy? No, the medkit is used immediately on collection, you see. So, it, like, it's not in my inventory. It was already used once before. Oh, that, okay, no, okay, that also doesn't, okay, I literally can't get out because the game has done a whoopsie with its positioning of this. <gasps> yeah, currently I actually can't, like, escape the situation that I'm currently in because, um, the game is bad. It's just the enemy spawns on top of me and I can't move. So I'm just gonna have to die on purpose until it goes away. Oh, or it could just go away on its own, that works too.
make a save of game. Yeah, it's it's it is impossible to soft lock in this game, but you you need to sort of be well. I'm not completely sure that's true actually, but it's you can get yourself into situations that are very irritating to get out of. That's for sure. Is that not the right key? Is this the wrong door? This might be the wrong door. Hang on, hold that. Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. I know, it's here. There you go. You've done, gone, and did it. We've unlocked the door. Mash, mash, mash button. Panic event. Oh, baby. <laughs> Piss. Game over. I think it's because my stop. health was red. <laughs> Stephanie, stop, please. I think it's because my health was red. I don't think I, c I don't think it would let me do it. Because when, when the cursor's flashing like that, I think all you have to do is mash. Or not, maybe not. Maybe it's because I didn't put my cursor in the right place. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, okay, 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 different kind of event. There you go, there you go. Aunt Catherine, run! I got the controls wrong. Hurry, run! Banana, no, no, don't come out. You won't come out because I'm carrying the amulet. Dang. Okay, GG, I beat the game. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. No, 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 I got, I got, I got stabbed right this time, whereas the, f the first time I got stabbed, it was the wrong kind of getting stabbed, so it, it, it didn't count, it was no good, it was game over, whereas that, that was a good stab. Do you understand? You'll understand by the end, I'm sure. Team Humania. playing SNT5 right now. <laughs> But no, today I woke up and chose Clock Tower. Franz Stoppenbach.
single QA man. Studio cliche. Was ASCII the publisher? Is that why I keep showing me their name? Because I thought it was a human entertainment game. Yeah, human. Is it, are they like a subs- I don't know how this works, actually. My ending rank is M. M. Right, so yes, naturally, that was merely only one ending of many. Event cut. That's cutscene skip, by the way. That's what that means. You have to turn it on, but you can skip cutscenes in this game, which immediately makes it better than Clock Tower, the other one. Because you can't fucking skip cutscenes in that game, but you can in this one. Anyway, crack on. So, children, what did we do wrong there? I did I did totally do that for the bit. Uh, did it really need to play out the whole case? No, I could have skipped them. I, I did it because I wanted to take a piss. Uh, what did we do wrong there, children? I didn't put the amulet down. How would you know that before going in? You wouldn't, really, but... But nevertheless... Stop. Stephanie, stop, please. Hey, you know. You wouldn't really know to do this without getting killed the first time. But, you know. Do you know the amulet does a thing yet? Yeah, run. it's explained in somewhat in some detail in run, the manual that no one out. reads. <laughs> Hurry up, old lady! Get the hell out of here! <laughs> <laughs> the little twerp! I'll kill her! I can't believe people don't like this game. I can't believe people don't like this game. Crucial immediate Deadly action. Monster. Crucial thing that needs to be done that isn't particularly intuitive, but I am aware of. You need to lock the fucking door. That wasn't easy. You will, in fact, get a bad ending if you do not do that. And uh, I cannot be bothered to intentionally trigger another bad ending for the joke. I think I think I think we're done with that joke. We're done. The bit is over. We claim my amulet, and you do need to remember where you put it. <laughs> now we're Alyssa again, and there is that is the system of Clock Tower Ghost Head. Sometimes you need to be Bates to do a thing. And generally speaking, that you will not really clock where and why you need to be Bates until you already get killed once. Sup. What has happened to Stephanie? And Ashley? 
What happened here? Tell me, Aunt Catherine. Jim staying baits is also a bad thing. The Bates curse. can't the do things, but staying Bates isn't really bad the per curse? se. Like, staying Bates has no ill effects precisely. It's just that he can't, like, talk to people without telling them to fuck off. So that doesn't, that doesn't beget progress a lot of the time. This kerosene heater still works. Cool. But the tank is empty. But the tank is empty. Right. Well, okay. Now we're going back inside. To burn the fuck up? No, she's gone. Mr. Alan Hale, it's from my father. It's postmarked 16 years ago. The statue I sent belongs to the Maxwell family. Ultimately, it was only a statue and probably has nothing to do with the Maxwell's magic powers. Magic. There is probably nothing to the curse, either. For now, anyway. I'm giving you the statue. If she can tell, but what did locking the door do? I'm not saying it makes statue. any sense. I'm just saying that's what you have to do. <gasps> not the statue in Stephanie's room. Because if, if you don't lock the door... Uh, when you bugger off back to talk to uh, Aunt Catherine in the other room, uh, Stephanie will walk in and stab you in the dick, and you get a bad ending. It's a different bad ending. It counts as a different ending for the game's list. But uh, I didn't feel like doing it. Sadly, for those of you who wanted to see me suffer immensely with this game's obtuse bullshit, uh, I am coming in armed with pre-knowledge. Not much granted, my knowledge of this game kind of starts, like, it's... I kind of know what's going on in the first bit and it starts to fall off a cliff. Because I've never, I never finished it, but... I, uh, I understand the basic system. Which honestly means this will probably take me less time to complete than it otherwise could, because this game is fucking not that long, but it gets long because people get confused about how to even do stuff. Go, 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 go! That's not gonna work. Oh, it totally did! I'm a genius. Which room is on with the statue in it? This one. It's gone. It's gone. The statue, where did it go? A 
problem. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Yo, Nub Zombie, thank you very much for the raid. My camera's autofocus had a moment there. Welcome, everyone, to Clock Tower Ghost Head. We're playing this. Okay, where the fuck am I going? The best clock tower. I think I need to put the amulet down at this point, actually. Clock towel 2. People keep saying that. I'm not sure. Is that, did I, like, misspell my stream title? No. You guys are just... Okay, people just keep saying that because they're funny. <laughs> I thought I missed... I thought the reason people kept saying was that I'd misspelled my stream title, but I didn't actually double check. I did that all the time when I streamed Coldelka. I always put the letters in the wrong order. I can be called Dolka a lot. Alright, this may or may not be a good idea. Which version is this? The English version? Question mark? I, I'm playing the English version on account of the fact I am not counting on my audience to be able to understand Japanese. Also, the English version of this game is like $400. Uncle Philip? So, uh... Oh, it's all because of that Maxwell curse. Gotta play it on emulator. It's all because Maxwell of the Maxwell curse. curse. It doesn't matter now. You must go hide in the den. I don't know where that is. Corridor key? Oh wait, no, there was that one- hang on, I know where that is. It's the one locked door. So the Japan version has English voices? Does it really? Like, it has both? Oh wait, no, this isn't the right room. For text in Japan, are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure this game has bespoke Japanese voice acting. You're, I think I think you're thinking of the wrong game. Thinking this game is be okay. You're thinking of the wrong game. Read the words on the screen for clarity. You are. You're definitely thinking of the wrong game. This is what. This is why I have the giant fucking block of text beneath the stream because people do this all the time. Yeah, dark. Top of the table is neat and tidy, I'll say. They've got really confusing names in the English versions is the problem. Cause like that again, this is this the, hence the block of text. The block of text explains all.
no, 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 no. Hold fucking still. Jesus wept. There you go. This is the statue. Everything started after Stefan he found it in the closet. That statue? <laughs> the curse is true. That's why you're possessed. Or... I've been cursed too? You know, don't you? Anyone involved with the Maxwell family yeah. Oh. Okay, but I kind of need that statue. So, like, go back in and go pick it up. Oh, or not. Slowly and calmly walk upstairs. I don't know what the statue's really meant to be shaped like either, Candid. Oh. in this room. No, and I suspect there might be a reason I never checked what's in this room. Locked, is it? I wonder whose attache case this is. No one calls it that. No one. Everything's normal here. Right, why do I feel as though this is one of those stupid things? It is Clock Tower 2, after all. Nearly getting killed by strangling didn't turn Alyssa into baits. Ah, there you go. Sup, idiot. Burn it! The statue! Burn it! Nice the amulet still on? Uh, I don't have it, but I just haven't turned into baits yet. Hurry! Burn it! I do need to go back and get it at some point, but currently I am content to. I left it upstairs. Get. Burn the statue? We have all that we need to burn the statue. Oh!
I have a great plan. It's a plan so great you'll never believe it. It's a very fucking labored plan, but it's a plan. Come here, you little shit. I'll give you what for. Get fucked. Alright, but now... Problem solved. Although I kind of wanted to go that way. I forget that leaving the way you came in also applies to when you shoot something. But she should just now be gone, so that does in fact solve the problem. Bates is very efficient like that. But uh, I do need my amulet back. Is the samurai armor ever explained? Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> it's a cursed house. I'm not sure if everything has explanation. Get... Statue equipped. We're gonna burn some shit. This is not flashing. I'm gonna do all of this in rapid succession, you see. Get amulet. It's on the floor. I seize it. It's like four pixels tall, but go get it. Amulet, protect me. <laughs> I don't think you can do this with a lighter, by the way. But whatever. Stephanie, I'm sorry. I 
I can't everyone just instantly replies with the Zippo that you could. I don't know what that means. Oh, bad ending? No, that's that was progress. We cleared the first scenario. Hey, you okay? Alex Corey, Monterey County Police. You don't have to talk. This place? Memorial Hospital. I got a call from Tate's wife. When I went inside, I found you and a girl laying on the floor. I carried you out here. Stephanie, how is she? <laughs> we stabbed her. She was her. badly injured, but she'll be okay. She's not gonna die. <laughs> we shot her and stabbed her multiple times, I think. And kicked her in the head, like, three times. Oh. What was that? Noisy monster's cage. We will immediately start by saving the game. But yes, we have we've progressed out outside of chapter one. And because the samurai statue was on the move, I think that's I think that's actually all you need to do in the first chapter that has any effect on later chapters. As long as you clear the stage, everything else is gravy. Oh, it's just a the key to the draw. What fucking draw? Do I still have the pistol? No, it's gone. Bollocks. Stole my gun. Something's getting highlighted there. Oh, it's the door. Right, okay. Fair enough. Hi, orange juice. My goal is to find a gun. Everything seems normal here. Thanks, Alyssa. I wonder why that one has a voice line attached to it, but not the other one. Anything else I can investigate in this room? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Seems like this room is a fat load of nothing. Fat load of fucking nothing. Some rooms in this game, much like the other clock tower, contain a fat load of nothing. Well. Are you trying to escape? <gasps> there is no response. This is having a moment. Anyway, that's a zombie.
the hell? <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell so loud. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just a newspaper reporter. Definitely a normal a thing that people reporter? who will not hurt you will say. Yep. I'm Doug Bowman. Pleasure's mine. I'm going to poke around a bit more. Poke around? Don't you know? There's a big story here. A whole lot bigger than I thought. See ya. So, about the zombie? Penny, Penny for your... Okay. Right. What was he looking at? George Maxwell? Maxwell! Is there like, hang on, is there like another door buried in this corner? I can't really, you can't, no, I don't think so. If it was there, it would let me pan the bloody camera over. George Maxwell. Who the fuck is this Maxwell guy? Never met a Maxwell that wasn't suspicious. Oh no! I know. I'm. I do. I. I don't think I want to look at that corpse. It seems like one of those patented bad ideas. I'm gonna do it. They're all dead. Alyssa just stands there, looking around. <laughs> well, we all knew this was going to happen now, didn't we? What's happening here? Look at all of these files. Wow! <laughs> files! Nothing to do here. Ah! She's on the move. Oh, Svenestum! Swoostum! See you later, buddy! knows that bathrooms are ideal locations of safety when in a matter of life and death type situation. I was... the idea was hide, but okay, I guess this works. Another zombie spawned. <laughs> I'm, g I'm going right back in. <laughs> what, you think I won't do it twice? What, you think I won't do it? Block this overhead!
that's fucking fun. It's funny now. Wonder how many times I can do it before it stops being funny. Let's keep count. Uh, did Yonder leave something? Yes. The key to the closet. What closet? No fucking clue, mate. In times of crisis, you can always use an elevator. It, it, it's really that fussy? I was expecting a sub-menu, but alright, fine. <laughs> the struggle localized entirely within the woman's bathroom. Do you know if you're playing as Bates, he won't go in the woman's bathroom? It seems as though a zombie has spawned in this room, which means I'm going back to the bathroom. Fucking do it again, mate. This does just work forever. Point you think she'd just keep the broom with her or something because like clearly clearly this is her calling in life right now can i actually get on with my life another thing upstairs that I could have used to kill the zombie, but I don't know where it is or like what anything, like I don't know the layout of the hospital. <laughs> just this dude just like like dang and romper posing in the fucking hallway. I still hallway. think Tate's a guy who did it. Uncle Philip? Did what? Uh-huh. There was yellow blood at his house, remember? There's a creature here, too, with yellow blood. Tate's missing. Missing? No! I think we should go over to the lab. Tate's the boss there, isn't he? Yes. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'll go over now, you come later. But why? Okay. Have fun with that.
<laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Oh. Well, uh, hmm. Well, that was no good. <laughs> that didn't work. Is any of the... Is this it? Is this... Oh, no, there's another room here. I would need to put down the amulet at some point to... Oh, no, this door's locked. Can I get in here, though? It's the right key. This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Excuse me. This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Okay. Look at all this junk. Is this really a hospital? We would refer to the original language version as JP, incidentally. And, uh, no, I do not have the Japanese version right now. That's not the right door. I want to go this way. I could have played the Japanese version, but I was operating under the assumption that my audience can't read Japanese. Seems like a fairly good assumption to me. What's actually in the bathroom? What are you up to? <laughs> Occupied! I mean, you can do JPN. JPN's fine, but not not JAP. I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. Everything seems normal here. The toilet is the safest place. I mean, it's a point-and-click adventure game, yeah. 
in that you point and you click on things. My past. What are you doing? Oh. My cursed past. Wash it away, please. <laughs> What's that? What? What are you doing? It's like stuck her head in the sink. What's the what's the goal there? I have a gun. I have a gun. Now that we have a gun, clearly the correct choice is to make use of gun. Fuck this amulet. I've put down the amulet. Now I gotta remember that for later. But now we gotta turn we gotta turn in debates. Ah, this works. See, it's important, however, that we do it from here. Because if, if I just shot him, if I just shot him in the hallway that I was just in, Bates would have ran back into the room, and that would be no good. Or at least it wouldn't be what I want to do right now, at least. Come on! Because every time you kill something in this video game, you will immediately leave out the same door you just, like, out the same door you just used. Which is, uh, kind of not really what I want. Like, that's kind of annoying. I don't really know why it works like that. But anyway, we're Bates now, so now I can go deal with that dude who tries to strangle me to death. Storage room, though. Do you get something different out of the nurse if you bug her? I don't know. Hey, what are you doing in here? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? <laughs> to wander about forever? That creature out there, what is it? Don't want to answer, huh? If you're not going to talk, then I'll kill you. There's a file in my office. You'll find your answer in there. Oh, okay. Well... Everything is normal here, so they say. Is there nothing else in this room to click on? It looks like there's a bunch. Oh, hell. There's a bunch of crap back here. 
Ah. All the rest is just junk. It's just junk. Do you guys know that the voice actor for Bates in this game is like reasonably famous? I'm trying to think of like the role that they've done that most people would know, but I know they've got at least one. They're in the Scream movies, I think. Do people know what that is? <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> it's Roger L. Jackson. Hey. Hey. Huh? You? Those creatures can eat. He's Mojo food. Jojo. He is, isn't and while he? While they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. Pretty good for a coward. Bates is having none of that <laughs> shit. They'll eat you up. <laughs> Is this a drawer key or a screwdriver kind of situation? <laughs> yes, unlock the drawer. Not with the drawer key, but with the screwdriver. Anyway, so far so good. I think I just hit the light switch rather than the door. <laughs> is, is he not, he's in a lot of stuff. He's like a he's actually quite a good actor, don't you know? I mean, he's the best actor in this game by a country fucking mile. Right, I have back door key. But where the hell do I use it? Is there any other doors that, like, do stuff around here? Stay hydrated? I actually have a drink, hell yeah. Uh -uh. That's some good H2O! Oh, I was- okay, no, I already went in here. There's no other door in this room, right? I'm just being- no. There's nothing- there's nothing to do here. Oh. Yeah, no, I was already here. Is there anything interesting to do here? I'm not sure. This is where we started the game. So I do see the plushy cam, give me a moment. Preferably one where I'm not being attacked by a zombie. I did get through this door, didn't I? Maybe not in here. 
but maybe in here, because I need to find a file, right? I, I still have that draw key, don't I? Yeah. Oh, shit. That didn't work. I disagree. I was not expecting it to spawn that close to me. Buffer. Danger Dan Dancers, thank you for the nine months. Okay. There you go, it didn't spawn so far away that uh, but so close that time. That's better. My health is now red, but that doesn't really matter. And now I can check on this thing of a bob. Cerebral toxin confidential. Interesting. Interesting. Big about. I can do that, I think. Oh, Mila has fallen off. This makes sense. Getting infected with cerebral toxin turns you into a zombie. Well, my exposure might be so higher than usual. Isabel seems very bright. Brain and makes the old brain stop functioning. It's kind of hard to get her in frame, though. That means the zombie's weak point is their parasitic brain. I've got to try. What am I trying? <laughs> Getting killed is what I'm fucking trying. I'm dead. <laughs> I've got to try. Oh, okay. Cerebral toxin <laughs> confidential. Let's try again. Interesting. This makes sense. Ah. Getting infected with cerebral toxin turns you into a zombie. The bacteria forms a new parasitic brain and makes the old brain stop functioning. That means the zombie's weak point is their parasitic brain. I've got to try. You don't get much in the way of reaction times for this, huh? Fuck off, game. That is a patented bad game moment. I did the I did the right thing there and it fucking did not work. Alright, take two. Scan. Ankle shot. There you go, you gotta wait for the cursor to turn bloody red. In my health being red wasn't the problem, it was the fact it put me in a narrow room with the zombie. <laughs> And asked me hit the red hit the red bit in like two seconds. What? Why? It's cause I'm it's cause I'm already carrying a gun. I still have gun, therefore. All right, whatever then. I get fine. You know, no one, no one really needs a shotgun. Sorry, I feel like I need to adjust my camera framing for this because uh, I think my camera is like not far forward enough. There you go. Now you can have more Isabel in frame. Even though I still think the the the, the manner I'm pretty sure my exposure is set too high, but whatever. Eh. This will do, for now. Right, what the hell am I doing? I want my amulet back. Where did I leave it?
Was it, it was this room? I think it was, there was a room with a vase. Vase. Viz. There, here it is. Leave. <laughs> I was expecting you to go through the door. Pleasant. Nurse, stop. It's all over. I have no desire to live. If you commit suicide now, you'll turn into a zombie. Me too? Dead, but alive. <laughs> Wandering forever. Dead, but alive. No, don't, please. Okay, good enough. I found the first aid kit. <laughs> what what about second aid kit? If first aid kit is so good. Hey, look who's having fun again. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Am I just going to die again? Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! No, I'm dead again. She's gone. I suspect I know what the problem is.
กระเด็งรูมอะแทกอีก Right now, I think what I need to do is I think I need to I I need to get the shotgun, but it won't let me pick it up because I still have regular gun. In my inventory, and I don't actually think it lets you just put gun away. So I, th I think I need to. <laughs> I think I need to waste a bullet somehow. So I'm gonna do that by putting the amulet down again and fucking finding something to shoot. Very roundabout way of acquiring a second. You're telling me, dude. But like, I'm, I didn't make the game, so you know. That's simply none of my business. I got one bullet. Make it count. Made it count. Oh, not gonna immediately sprint out of the room? Why? Why is this? Why is this the one time that he doesn't sprint out of the room immediately on killing an enemy? What? Can't use. Why not? Why is this? Th I mean, not that I mind. I wanted to pick up the amulet anyway. But why is this the one time it did not immediately make me leave the room on entry? That's just that's just weird. Because <laughs> no, that's been a hard and fast rule at any other point. So is the parasitic brain in the crotch? Apparently, apparently. I'm trying to remember where the hell else I'm. So like, I wanted to get the shotgun, right? But where was it? Where was the shotgun again? Not in here. I can tell you that much. Is it because the amulet was in the room? I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't imagine it's because the amulet was in the room. Just just didn't get kicked out of that one. I 
It should still let me pick up the shotgun as a lesser, right? If I have to be baits for this, I'm going to be quite annoyed. Oh, I think I do have to be baits to pick up the fucking thing. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why does that matter? Bad video game. No, put the amulet back down. Fucking Christ, this is such a roundabout way of doing it. Agree. Video games. You have to be baits to pick up the shotgun, but you can't do it if there's another gun in your inventory. What fucking dipshit made this game? I don't know if the shotgun's required or not. I think it is. Also, Will, thanks for the 45 months of Prime Gaming. Oh, and now there's no zombie in here. At least I can poke around. Check out this bloody sink. Blood! Yeah. Yes, people have repeatedly asked me if I will eventually try out the rest of the Shadow Heart series. It's the kind of thing that makes me want to not play video games ever, because if I try one thing, people will ask me if I want to commit to spending 100 hours of my life playing through the rest of a four-game franchise. I think there are four games in the Shadow Heart series, I don't remember entirely. Where the f- I need to turn back into fucking baits again. So I can get the stupid shotgun. Yeah, I don't know. Not- not anytime soon. Because, like, Koldelka is, like... The reason I played through Koldelka as an RPG is that it's relatively short. The rest of the Shadow Hearts games are, like, long. I don't think my viewers would like it that much if I did an RPG. Can I just leave? I just go. It's okay. No, there is no response from the door. Yeah, the, the, I don't think my viewership would like it tremendously much if uh, I spent like three months of my life just doing nothing playing RPGs. Also, I don't think I want to. Not right now, at least. I'm trying to find a zombie on purpose, and I can't find one. <laughs> I feel like something's gone wrong with the flow of events here. I feel like something's supposed to be happening, and it's just not.
We are at the stage of gameplay where I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if the scripting fucked up. Okay, I'm behind the counter now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was the meaning of this action? I feel like I'm... I. I'm gonna find a gun in one of these, aren't I? I have to load my save. I found- I found a pistol, but okay, no, I guess if I'm Alyssa I can't wait. But Alyssa can pick up guns, can't she? Didn't I pick up a gun earlier with Alyssa? It's not even a very big place, is it? There's not that many rooms to check. I guess I can just do this again, where Bates just kicks this dude in the nutsack. I don't see why that would be very important, but I can certainly do it. <laughs> Will this even it's work if I'm not over. already Bates? I'm He's not sure. the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but. Creatures can eat you instead of me, and while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea! You is this why this guy crazy. is here? Just to give you a guaranteed <sighs> way to change back into baits? <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Is that the reason? No, you just die. It doesn't work. I think the scripting's fucked up. I think I'm gonna have to load an earlier save because I think the scripting's fucked up. Of 
because a thing is meant to happen and it's just not happening. Can I just leave out the front door? I have a key. It's locked. Word. Does this does this fulfill your needs? No. It's locked. These are all rooms that just don't go anywhere. There is no response. I think I think the game is just fucked up. I've done everything I can. I'm gonna load an earlier save file because I'm operating under the assumption the scripting's just failed. All right, what was I doing last? Shit, is this too early? Or too late, rather. Might have to load an even earlier fucking save at this rate. I think the scripting's fucked up that hard. Nope, this, uh... Hmm. It's not great. I'm bored. I'm going to start using speed up. Oh. Oops. broke everything by doing that on my other end because the wrong thing was highlighted. So you need to turn back into baits, and then maybe I can get the shotgun, and maybe that will, like, unfuck this, like, weird brokenness that seems to be happening right now. Maybe. A zombie, at least. So we can do that. I'm not sure if you need the sh- I don't see why you would need the shotgun, but... Ah, no, maybe you do. It's the best idea I've got right now. Failing that, I'm going to have to load an even earlier save from before I finish the first chapter, because I genuinely think the scripting's just completely carked it. I 
I'm, I'm, I already have a walkthrough open. I've, I've done all the steps in the walkthrough. It's not working. Something has broken. And this game is like of the bent where I, I, I genuinely cannot tell if, like, if I'm missing a step or if the game is just fucked up. I came in armed with a walkthrough because I knew this game was shit. But I didn't expect it, like, I didn't expect it to, like, full-on break like this. Clock Tower, like, the, the other Clock Tower PS1 game is also bad, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible to soft-lock it. Now I can get the shotgun at least, so maybe this will fucking bear fruit to something. Hey, thank you. Like, somehow I doubt it, but I don't know, maybe. make save state. Because now, I think something is supposed to happen when you go back upstairs and, oh dude, I can go in the mail bathroom, crazy. Something is supposed to happen when you go back into the office. Oh. That's not helpful. No, I don't want to deal with that. Next. Let's try going back to any of these rooms as base just to see what happens. Like, do, like, can I also talk to to the the cook as baits? I doubt it. They they're gone seemingly. Nope. No joy here. I can't even click on him. So nothing interesting there. Walk my ass back downstairs. The, co the, the hang up here is that something is supposed to happen when I speak to that guy as Alyssa now at this point. But uh, as as observed prior, it just isn't happening. He's just strangling me to death instead. And my my only guess is that I need the shotgun for some reason. Not that I'm like I don't think I'm supposed to use it, but I simply need to have it. That doesn't really make any sense, but it's Clock Tower Ghost Head, so that could be correct. Meh. 
<laughs> preemptive strike with shotgun. I don't think that's it. I don't see why having the shotgun matters, but it might. See, now I can talk to him again. But does it do anything? <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but... This isn't any different. Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone crazy. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! Nope. Uh... I don't know what to do. I'm out of ideas. I've followed the walkthrough to a T and it's actually still fucked up. Am I, am I missing something here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it seems, it seems like the game has just failed. Something, something is just supposed to happen there, and it just isn't happening. Any very advice at all? If you're correct, then yes. But the problem is, is that no one actually knows. I'm not trying to figure it out on my own at all. This game is not worth the hassle. The problem is, is that I'm literally cheating and it still doesn't work. I'm, I'm using a walkthrough and it still won't work. I did. I already did that, though. That's already been <laughs> it's done. It's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me, and while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. You've gone. Crazy. <sighs> <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. Oh yeah, I'm not Bates, so I just I just die again for no reason. Tried getting the shotgun as Bates. I'm already I already have the shotgun. This is what I mean when I say if you're going to backseat, be correct. I think the I I think the game has just fucked up. Frankly, I think it's just failed. You can turn event cut on from the menu. I I actually think this is just soft locked. I okay. I I give up on this then. We're going to restart from a much earlier point because I think this has failed. Cool game. Very cool game. They released this for money. Uh, I have no idea where I'm at now. What am I doing? Yeah, I, I think it just failed. I have the storage key, but not the back door key. Fuck, what was I doing last? Uh, I have draw key. I think I have to go back upstairs. I think.
Oh, here we are. I still think Tate's the guy who did it. Uncle Philip? Uh-huh. There was yellow blood at his house, remember? There's a creature here, too, with yellow blood. Tate's missing. Missing? No! I think we should go over to the lab. Tate's the boss there, isn't he? Yes. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'll go over now. You come later. Man, this time I'm just I'm just going to dogmatically follow the walkthrough to a fucking T. Even though that's what I did last time anyway, so I, I don't know what the difference would be. But since it fucked up the last time, I, I don't know. Maybe I, did, maybe I did one step out of order and that broke the entire sequence because we are dealing with a very good game. Hyperspeed bonk. What are you up to? I mean, this is just me redoing all the shit I did before, because it fucked up the first time. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to activate the light switch or just look at it? Alyssa will collect locker gun, but she will not collect gun in drawer. I'm not entirely clear on why she works like that. Why is she like this? Sure, this is the bad one? I don't know. I kind of think both the Clock Tower games of PS1 are pretty bad. <laughs>
I'm not really sure where people get off saying this is significantly worse than the other one, because it's... And I actually think it controls better, for one thing. Although the system is more awkward. Ah! I know I said it controls better, and then I immediately do loops. But the thing is, is that it would be hard to run in... It's hard to run in the, in the other PS1 clock tower. You have to specifically press twice with an exact rhythm. Too fast, and it doesn't pick it. Too quickly, it registers three times, and you don't run at all. It's all Shan. Patience. The hunter lies in wait. Got him. GG's. Shake my hand. Yeah, whereas in this game, you just you just double click on something twice or many times. You can just mash on something, and Alyssa will do her fucking best to run up to it. Her best is not always very good, but she'll do her best. <laughs> Also, you can skip cutscenes in this game. You can't skip cutscenes in the other one. It doesn't let you. I don't think this is the right room. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Looking for something? Not particularly. What is the door? There's nothing here I can use. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I, I'm trying to get you to leave the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's just guys just looking at a dude. It's like, what is this? What is this bed? I, I leave the room, Bates. Bates, leave the room. Isabel has largely fallen off camera at this point. So, that's all you get for plushy cam. What is Bates exactly? Uh, Bates possesses the main character when she is stressed or otherwise pressured. Bates is a... I don't know, he seems to be perfectly okay with just stabbing kids, so like he, he doesn't seem like he's all there. Oh yeah, it's locked. Right, I have the key for that. That was the whole point of getting the key. That's why we have, um, okay, we don't have it actually, but that's why there's an item called the amulet, which is like, it's a protective charm. When you're holding it, you cannot turn into baits, and sometimes you need to be baits, but sometimes you need to be Alyssa, and the game expects you to figure that out, mostly through just trial and error. The, a frequent thing is that just someone just fucking kills you. If you're playing, like, you, you interact with a character like this, and they just get up and they shank you. When you're playing as Alyssa, but if you're Bates, hey, Bates will be like, "What are you no doing you. in here?" And then you can proceed. This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever. That creature out there. What is it? Don't want to answer, huh? If you're not gonna talk, then I'll kill you. There's a file in my office. You'll find your answer in there. That also happens. Bates, you, you need to talk to this character as Bates because Bates just threatens her for no particular reason. And that's... you need you need to do that. <laughs> you can't read the file if you don't get that information.
<laughs> it's all over. This dude He's again. He's the one who did it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. He's crazy. Yeah, as established, uh, if you're playing as Alyssa, he just kills you. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! If you're Bates... Pretty good for a coward. <laughs> They'll eat you up! Bates does that. <laughs> and we are we are none worse the wear for it. <laughs> Is this what they mean? By Ruffle. Unbelievable. These posts in my chat, they're so bad! Oh, wrong door. Right, save the game, but don't save it in the first... save it over here. Because I'm just keeping that so far as, like, my fallback point in case the game fucks up again. <laughs> Why does he do that? Why do you do that, Bates? Quick, use gun on this book. Cerebral toxin confidential. Interesting. This makes sense. Getting infected with cerebral toxin turns you into a zombie. The bacteria forms a new parasitic brain and makes the old brain stop functioning. That means the zombie's weak point is their parasitic brain. I've got to try. I'm gonna get grabbed by this dude. Like, mad easy. <laughs> I especially am gonna get grabbed when the controls just decide to not work. I tried to press to shoot, and he ran into it instead, because those are the same button. The square button is completely unused, by the way. Anyway, I actually kinda want to use my ammo here pointlessly. Need to empty. No, don't want to shoot there. Oh shit! Well now I'm out. Okay, well I have to die now. <laughs> that shot was supposed to kill, but it didn't. Mm. 
try again. I can do it. I can waste shots strategically. I'm gamer. Alright, where's your parasitic brain? In the head, shockingly. Right, so far, more calculated. So far, more calculated. What a tiny shotgun. You're a tiny shotgun. Don't be talking shit. I don't know why I'm like offended by that, but I am. Like, what, do you, what do you think you think you're talking? <laughs> talking shit about tiny shotgun. Alright, now that I've done all of that, now. Apparently, I go back, I get the fucking amulet, I talk to the girl in the- that's too far. You've gone too far in the wrong direction. What's with the deep voice? Are we possessing- well, Bates is possessing the main character, yes. That's what, that's what all the purple glowy shit is. Currently, we are Bates, which is Alyssa's, like, alter ego type deal. See, in the Japanese version, Bates' voice actor is more sort of androgynous. You know, to better fit the fact that it's still possessing a teenage girl. Uh, the English dub did not give a fuck. Now, now, now we should be able to make progress, question mark? We're at the exact same point we were at before. Exact same point. This should work. I've done everything in the prescribed order. I have all of the th items I need, and I did it much cleaner this time. Stop! This again? Over. I have no desire to live. Also, nurse, but like cook. If you commit suicide now, you'll turn into a zombie. Is that a description or is that Me just their name? Too? Dead, but alive, wandering forever. No, don't, please. Like, is their name Cook? Or are they just, like, the hospital's cook, but they wear a nurse outfit? Like, so, something about this picture isn't right to me. The cook is her last name. Well, I don't know. We don't know. It's never been stated. That's why I'm asking. Cook is her last name. Yeah, but we don't fucking know that. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who prevented him <laughs> shoot gun. <laughs> Excuse me, but huh? now we know her second profession you? as a cook. But Those creatures. I don't know. Why would we know her and name? While they're chewing on you. I can't escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. It's the same cutscene. You've gone crazy. Oh, no, there we go. The, the cursor, it's, we've made progress. We're doing it this time. <laughs> Hurry up! 
off and get eaten. The curse is flashing. Yay! I don't know what I did differently that time, but it worked. We have we have achieved forward movement. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is it's kind of doing it itself. I can't forgive you. Oh, okay. Who are you? That's not important. <sighs> Thank you for rescuing me. Rescuing you? Only because. I won't let you die so easily. Yeah, I, huh? uh, I have no clue what I did differently to make that scene work, but it worked. Okay, that, I was, I'm telling you, something was supposed to happen when I got into that room. That's what was supposed to happen. That wasn't happening. I don't know why. I don't know what I did differently. Now what the hell do I do? I don't think I did do anything differently. I think I just did everything, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I did anything different. I think I just did what I did normally. It just, it just worked that time. Fucking beats me, dude. Anyhow. Progress. We are back on track. Progress thus made. was all a part of the game. <laughs> Look at you just standing in a corner of the room. That research lab is hiding some secret, and it's next door to this hospital. Research lab? Uh-huh, for researching pharmaceuticals, mainly. Convenient. I'm going over there. You coming with me? His name's cut off. I'm not doing that. It just says Alman. Do I go with him? Yes or no? If, apparently if you want to get the best ending, you have to say no. Well, take care of yourself then. Don't get yourself killed in a place like this. I don't know why you would say- I don't know why you would say no, though, but apparently you need to. if you say yes and Tommy shoot does it do are you like do you proceed to the next level but you're locked into a worse ending or something or do you just die on the spot do you, are you just instantly kaput due to your poor decision making? Right, can I fucking leave now? You follow him into the next area and you just find him chopped in two for literally no reason. Also, now the door just opens. It didn't open before, now it just opens. It's locked. Ah, uh, but we just unlocked it. I, I, that's what the key was for. Let's get out of here. But the door's locked. Stand back. That always works. <gasps> Nap time. Ah, yes. Uh. A real gun shooter. I'm mashing for my life.
What is this? What is this? Always crotch shots. I see, I understand. What a gamer. Ah, uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Where is here? The research Where lab? Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? My uncle? He's here? He's mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's got to be involved somehow. No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Well, in any case, you stay <laughs> here. I mean, that's a good a point! <laughs> it's perfectly normal for him to be here. He runs the fucking place! Oh. Well, I've just been, I've been left in a corner to my own devices. We made it to chapter three, baby! <laughs> People going to their place of work is sus, I agree. What the fuck? How do you how do you operate this? <laughs> how how do you control this video game? No, that's the same room I just oh destroyed by perspective. Owned by perspective, dude. It was, it was, it was no good. From the very start, it was doomed. Well, good for it. Do I still have the amulet? I do. I, the amulet is still going to be like a thing. None. point of having all the rooms be like lights out when all you do is click on them and then their lights on and that's it i found a key go me anything fun in this room besides that oh, there's nothing here thank you Alyssa. that's it this room just has a key <laughs> all right crack on Oh, look who's here. Hey, Alyssa. Mr. Bowman? I just saw something really nasty. A man covered with blood carrying a big hatchet. He suddenly attacked me. Look out, he's dangerous. A man covered with blood? Yeah, better watch out for him. 
Okay, thanks. G good, good, good talk. Oh, something smells awful. It's yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> These observations. I wonder what's in there. Look with your eyeballs. That was the point. Fucking idiot. Oh, but everything seems normal here, like... Alright. Alright! Alright! Sheesh. <laughs> no scissor man here? This game has no scissor man in it, no. Only man with hatchet, I guess. Hatchet man. Hashi! Oh, lovely. I wonder what kind of experiment they were doing. They were doing. No, go back. Go back. <gasps> oh, no, wait, don't, don't go back. I've beefed it completely now. Oh, just like that? It doesn't work. It doesn't what you're killing me here, game. And now faxes are happening? <laughs> it's it's doesn't work. You know, log on. Log on. Hmm. It doesn't work. Why does nothing in this building work? Hey, 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 hold that thought. Nope, okay, no, 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 okay, well, all right. Hey, 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 Where the hell I'm going? Can my can trusty chair help me out? I don't think so. Now watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna finesse this guy. I'm gonna finesse him good and proper. I'm so good at games, you don't even know. All right, later, buddy. See, you can do that in this game. That's nearly impossible in the in the fucking the other Clock Tower PS1 game. I tried to do that multiple times, and the controls just aren't good enough for it. The 
three-dimensional video game. Ah, the fire extinguisher, a perfect tool. God is ass. I kind of I kind of want to go that way though. There's another enemy here? Another fire, yes. It's all about fire extinguishers in the final chapter, huh? Is that how it works? It's good. We 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 got this. Just take the fire extinguisher with you. Like you got this. The problem is that I can't stop. I'm not doing this, by the way. Like I don't control this. Whenever you kill something. For some reason, under 99% of circumstances, with extremely rare and exceptions that I don't understand, uh, it always just takes you back out the same room that you, like, you use the door that you just used. So if you just entered a room, Alyssa will immediately leave it. Which is very annoying. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. Pink door. Blue door. Ah, I'm once again safe, as I'm in a bathroom. The bathroom inspector logs on again. A blue card. I wonder what it's for. I found blue card key in the girl's bathroom. Anything fun going on in here? There's nothing in here. Well, thank you for your insight, Alyssa. Oh. I'm okay. Did I? One of these doors I didn't go in. Like, I came in through that door, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh well, look at you, sitting here. Who are you? I am Shannon. Shannon! Uh, a ghost? A ghost head! How fortunate for you to come here. You did come here to die, didn't you? 
I can help you with that. Brutal. Huh? Off with you then, run away. So that I may have a bit of fun with you. I am absolutely 100% just following a walkthrough at this point, since apparently you can softlock the game if you aren't very precise about this. It's telling me to put the amulet down here, so I'm going to listen to it. Can't use. I was trying to save the game, like make an actual, like memory card save. enjoying this gameplay. I'm glad someone is. What if I pick this game up as a speedrun, guys? What, what about that? What about... What about, what about... Hi. Yeah, this is some kind of place, isn't it? Creature that bleeds yellow blood. Hatchet-wielding killer. You better get out of here quick. Stay out of this. I don't remember you telling me what to do. And you might be? I suggest you be the one to get the hell out of here. Peace, loser! and loaded. Okay, no, I didn't. I, I was expecting it to respawn. I totally was. How goes the game? I managed to break the scripting in the middle of it and had to reload an earlier save, so not great.
Okay, so like, I know I'm following a walkthrough for this because... A wire? This game apparently breaks really easily if you do things in the wrong order, which is not great. But, uh... <laughs> this game is worse than the previous Clock Tower, but not by much. That's kind of my thrust. Uh, the way I've heard people talk about Clock Tower 1 for PS1 and Clock Tower uh, 2, The Struggle Within, or Ghost Head, is that, you know, like, Ghost Head is, like, the really I bad disagree. one. Like, it's a significantly worse game. Like, it's a fucking disgrace or whatever. It's like, I don't think it's much worse than the, than, than the, than the other one. It's better in some ways, and it's a bit worse in others. Like, the actual puzzle design and, like, general flow of events, that's kind of bad. That's that's really confusing, and you kind of need to use a guide, because otherwise you're going to be wandering around a fuck ton. And the scripting can sometimes just break on you, which is not great. Victory. But also, the first Clock Tower, or the, the the original Clock Tower PS1, is, uh, not that much better what on that front. You, you do occasionally need to do a bunch of stupid shit to give birth to... Per I had to look up a walkthrough for to finish Clock Tower PS1 as well. Because I got stuck on some, frankly, very bizarre train of logic that was happening in the last level. kind of key. Just full of keys, but no way to use them. Chill bro swaggins, thank you for gifting a sub. I did see that. It was just wrapped up in my thoughts for a moment. <laughs> Chill bro swaggins is also quite the username. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think this is like staggeringly inept compared to the the, the other. That's that's what gets me. Is that like I'm not really arguing this is good. I just I I think my thing here is that I also think the other Clock Tower PS1 game is not particularly good either. I think they might be both a bit shit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what Ghost Head does to specifically earn so much ire. Delicious footstep noises. I think the best Clock Tower game might be the one for Super Nintendo. Because that game's not, like, pretty breezy to play. Delicious reverb footstep noises. Although, that being said, I haven't played Clock Tower 3. My experience of Clock Tower 3 is very limited. Clock Tower 3 seems like a very wild departure. What's going on here? An anti-crime device. I bet I can disarm it. Okay, but why would I do that? I'm going to, but like, why would I do that? That was tricky. Was it? I think it's okay. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. I didn't achieve ending G, but Clock Tower, the, the other PS1 Clock Tower game, does the same shit. Like, that problem is not exclusive to this game. Clock Tower PS1, like, the other one, I, it's, there's, these names are so confusing, I hate it so much. 
I hate the fact I would say the other one. It does the same thing. If you don't do something within the first, like, 30 minutes of gameplay, you get locked into a shit ending. It does, it does the same thing. And it annoyed me just as much there. I had to replay the whole fucking thing. This game does the same thing. It's not like, like, it, it, the clock tower, the other one also does it. They, they, they both do it. They're both guilty. Yeah, spooky. I came here too. Why? You won't be of much help. I suppose not. I've thought about suicide. I want to know the outcome of this incident. Okay. I hope there will be an end. Here, I think you can use this. Hang on to it. I'm not going to thank you. Cool, I got a new shotgun. <laughs> Why are we so mean? I mean, well, we're baits. That's why we're mean. But still. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be at the moment, though. Maybe it is. I'm going to, I'm going to look. I'm looking, I'm looking at my walkthrough. Things must be done in the specific order. Right, so, remember that statue of armor in the very first chapter? If I didn't touch it and have it start walking around and try and kill me during the entire first chapter of the game, at this point, when I go to pick up that key, it would just fall on my fucking head and kill me, and that would be ending G. That's where the buck stops for a lot of people playing this game because that is, and this is true, stupid. But also, the other clock tower game does the same shit if you don't pick up the fucking, like, what is it? I can't remember what item it is. There's, a, there's an item you gotta pick up in the very first level, and if you don't pick it up, you can't get the best ending as well. You get a shit ending where you get murdered right before the final act. It does the same thing. It does the same thing. They both do the same thing. It's, it's bad in both games. Where the hell did I leave my stinking amulet? how to get back to the room with the stinking amulet. Uh... No, it's not here. It's this door, isn't it? Yeah, it's, ve it's very old school adventure game kind of logic where if you don't do a thing like two hours ago, your game can be stuck and it's... Ah, here it is. I remember. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get the amulet. Gotta be Alyssa. <sighs> Desk key. All right, where am I going? I'm going somewhere. Am I going somewhere, though? Where am I going? Where do I think I'm going?
No. What? No, I had it right the first time. Ah! I'm confusing myself. For some reason, I'm suddenly struck by the thought that I really want to play Viva Pinata. Has nothing to do with this. Just, just suddenly feel like playing Viva Pinata. It's amazing that I finish anything at all with a fucking train of thought like that. So I'm always bouncing all over the place. Right. This is all very lovely. I don't think I have ADHD. It seems a bit excessive. I never did look at this room, did I? Oh, zomble. Uh, you might want to leave. I have new technique. Oh, am I, am I actually just going to hide in the shower stall this time? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> she turned on the shower? Flying leap. This game has good music when it deigns to have music. Alright, will this do the trick? Absolutely fucking duffed him, mate. Gave him the business. But I kind of... I kind of want to go to the room. You know, the room I was trying to get into before I got interrupted by a zombie. What's the bet there's another zombie in the room? It's just going to, like, respawn or something. How's about we wait more than three seconds to ask questions? I wonder what kind of experiments they were doing. Get. A little key. A little key. Storage key. Amazing. Why does this one make a noise? I wonder what kind <laughs> of experiments they were doing.
didn't like search a whole bookcase and just like, oh, there's a key here. It's like, you know, put a stash of key in a bookcase. It's pretty hard to, like, bookcases are big. It's rotten. Well, yeah. There's just an infinite supply of first aid kits to be found on this table. I'm going to save the game just because I haven't saved in a while. You know, always keep one close to the start. Lest I end up in a chapter two situation. Where it fucking breaks again. Why did the music suddenly become dramatic? I just want to use the elevator! I just come out of? Ah. Bugger! Give him the business. Give him the business, because I'm not giving him any- There's no business occurring here! No schwoosing! <laughs> I couldn't finish it. Not enough of a room. Not enough space. Not enough space. I needed to create space. Jesus! This place is big and full of nothing, just like America. Ah, I can't, hang on, I gotta turn on the light real quick, otherwise I can't fucking see anything. Oh. Oh, this is, this room's huge, I can finesse him real easy. Completely finessed. It wasn't even close. There's like nothing on this floor. Am I supposed to go back downstairs to get to the fire extinguishers? The bathroom always has my back. Oh, hang on. Lights off. I can't. You can't do stuff when there's there's no light. Now the bathroom's my friend. Oh, except it's not my friend anymore because I took too long to use a thing. If I just stare at the wall, maybe he won't see me. <laughs> Is this as bad as they say? Yes, but not in a way that's unique to this game. Like, the other Clock Tower game is just as bad.
so you can f you can fucking finesse the killer in this game. That, friends, is priceless. Simply undefeated in this scenario. It worked this time. It's not that it didn't work the first time, it's that it was too late. There's another enemy here. You can always trust a toilet. around you can always trust a toilet except that doesn't actually get rid of the enemy so maybe you can't trust a toilet I think I was better served by going back downstairs and getting the fucking fire extinguisher, man. This is sham. That's what I'm gonna do. Because this is just annoying. <laughs> it's like, go away. Well, it's fine to have enemies chasing me, but you could have put more things to, for me to bonk them with. Not enough, there's just not enough stuff up there for me to do anything with. I searched through like six rooms and none of them had anything in them. So what do you want me to do? Like, I would like to play the game, but you're the one who made the decision to not put anything to play with. Yeah, he used the elevator that I just got out of, moreover. Uh. A victory for me. I still haven't been able to, like, actually investigate any of the rooms upstairs. Because you can't, like, pick up items while being chased or anything like that. The game, like, switches to a different style of control where the only things that can be highlighted are items that let you either hide or attack or something. Which is nice for clarity, but also means there's, there's no way to sort of, like, run pat- like, an enemy encounter is, like, a thing that has to be dealt with immediately. Great. Oh, that was the room I just came out of. I 
fucking oops. There's gotta be something I can bonk something with over here, surely. Is this floor just like bereft of bonk potential? Jesus. There is really nothing on this floor that you can do anything with. This is so shit. Why would you design this like this? What the fuck? My only option is just to go all the way back downstairs and keep bonking them with the fire extinguisher until they stop turning up. Like, just kill me. I can't do anything. How do you do this on purpose is the thing. Like, I, or rather by accident. Like, I don't understand. That's really inept. That's really bizarrely inept. I mashed and it killed me. All right. Didn't mash fast enough because apparently I did the speed up. Yeah, but still, like a combat system where the only thing you can do is you can you have to rely on pre-placed points of interest and items to do anything. Why did they put a bunch of enemies in a place where there's no fucking things to use? It's like that like that's 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 not functional. You've, you've, you've done it wrong. There's just, there's just nothing I can use to do anything. Like I have to go all the way back down. Every time, because they didn't put any fucking items on this floor. Why? Like, I don't get it. I don't get that. Were you, were you like, not paying attention? way to backtrack like either it's some some number of screens next fucking next how many of these do you think it's going to spawn before I'm able to finally just walk through to the room I want to look at and go there and do something. Alright, so far, nothing has spawned in. Will there be something in the next hallway? Take your bets. so much. Back downstairs we go! This is a miserable way to design a video game. What the fuck were they thinking? The classic gamer line, what were they thinking? Like, but like really though, what were they thinking? possibly do something this dumb on purpose, right? Like, by accident, rather.
Like, this must be an intentional effort to waste my time because I don't believe human beings can make something this bad by accident. This is, this is a particular kind of game design that displays, like, not just thoughtlessness, but, like, active malice. So we, we made a combat system based around points of interest in the environment. We also did not put any in an entire large map of the game, forcing you to backtrack to one particular point where it can be used. Like, how does that- how does that transpire? Like, how do you do that? I don't get it. Like, did you just forget? Nothing in this room! Joy! I can poke around things. All of this to look in a drawer and get a lighter. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm saving the game. <laughs> it's so weird though that it's like, I had to backtrack to that fire extinguisher three times? Because you can't, like, hiding, it would be fine if you could hide in the bathroom. You can, you can hide in the bathroom, but it doesn't permanently get rid of a zombie. They don't disappear. That doesn't, that doesn't quite cut the mustard. Also this room. There's something stuck to the computer. I I it's frozen on there. Do you want to get it? There's something stuck to the computer. All right, the lighter. I I it's frozen on there. Okay. I've, I've done it. I've got the key. I'm going to save the game again. It, I, the thing is, is that I don't think the zombies are respawning. I think they're just placed like that. <sighs> it's really cold in Wait, here. I don't think zombie spawning. Can a broken air conditioner really make it this cold? Yes, but uh, I don't think I don't think zombies respawn at random. I think they're just like that. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm not I'm not totally sure about this, but it looks like it's broken. No, they, no, it doesn't. Like, I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure it's fixed. Like, just like a fire extinguisher in this hallway, or any hallway, any of the hallways around here would have been fine. You just, just, just one somewhere. <laughs> like, here would be a great place for it. But no. They didn't, this, this, there wasn't one. Just something, just something to use, man. Oh my fucking god, there's another one. Okay. Back down we go for the fifth time. I, f I'm, I think I count. I think I skipped one, but anyway. Because <sighs> there's nothing else you can use on this floor to do any fucking damage with. Because we don't play our own games before we release them. It's the only way I can conceive of, of how you would like not realize that there's just nothing to fucking use in this entire part of the game.
This is an emulated version. When I'm getting bored, I'm just smashing the speed up button on the emulator key. And I'm getting bored a lot. Because this is fucking dreadful. Bonk. So much pointless faffing. Just get on with it. Get on with it. I think I want to go in that hallway anyway. Right, this was locked out. Which one of these many keys do you suspect does the trick? Easy game, easy life. Oh, hello. L. I'll poke him in a bit. Making a clock tower tier list after I'm done playing them all. Be a pretty short tier list. There's only four There's games. There's nothing here. I wonder if these are the experiment results. I wonder what cerebral toxin is. Well, anyway. Excuse me. Why are we you excusing him? supposed to have been born. Wow. Uh, I mean, I know I haven't like done much with my life, but that's a bit much. Born. Oh, I'm about to instantly die because my health was red. <laughs> well, I wasn't born, mate. Let's try again. Excuse me. You weren't supposed to have been born. Uh? You weren't supposed to have been born. This also seems kind of uniquely thoughtless that I had to die there because it immediately spawns you next to the, the dude. But at least it's not that, like, obnoxious. It's just thoughtless. Now, I could go all the way back downstairs and smack the dude with the fire extinguisher. In fact, that probably would be about the same speed as what I'm instead going to do, which is hide in the bathroom again. works against the like the, the sort of persistent chasers like that like they actually go away if you do that but on zombies they just reappear in the, like the room that they like they don't count as killed so you actually you're you're forced to backtrack to an item that can kill them why does it work like that what is this unless he's still in the room when i get back there I did make it past the soft log. I just, I just redid the thing, and that time it worked, and I don't really know what I did differently. I just, I loaded an earlier save and just did the exact same sequence of events, and the second time it worked. Fucking beats me.
Maybe like, like one one maybe one thing was in a different order this time. I I don't know. I don't remember. Something I did made it work that time. Something. But we will never we will never learn what. Yeah, no, he's no, he's gone. He is dead ass gone. Ass of dead gone. Hiding hiding works from persistent killers, but not against zombies, which is really annoying. Speaking of, guess who has to go all the ba way back downstairs again? Because they spawned a zombie in the room, and the only thing you can fucking use to kill him is on the first floor, because they didn't bother to put any fucking items on this floor. Back down we go, because the time waste jamboree is this game's fucking specialty. They're really fast zombies too. All the way back down, bonk, next, okay. Moving on. <laughs> You have to do it that way. You need to pick up an item to bonk a zombie so they count. You can't just hide from a zombie, so you can't backtrack to the bathroom for them. It doesn't work on those enemies. And the only thing, the only persistent item that you can use to kill enemies is the fire extinguishers on the bottom floor. I, I did a full loop around the top floor. There's nothing on the entire floor that you can kill enemies with. Nothing. They just didn't put any in the game. So every time one is forced to backtrack many, many screens. It's like, why? Why? There's so many chairs in this room. You can't bonk with any of one of those? Apparently not. Having a clue what this machine does. It's it okay. It looks like a mini fridge in a microwave. I wouldn't panic too much. I found the key to the handcuffs. The handcuffs? Uh oh. Well, I broke a computer. I broke a computer. Whoops. My mistake. It'd be laboratory ovens. Is that what we're calling microwaves now? I don't believe in this. It's locked. Which one of these fabulous keys? Amazing. What do I win? A zombie! Oh. Empty room. Light switch, light switch. Why with the light switches as well while I'm at it? I mean, I, I've, I've complained about this before, but, you know, I'm an, but we're in a complainy mood today. This is a complainy stream. We're, we're, this is a complaint stream. We, we just complain. Who's there? Father? Alyssa! What are you doing here? 
Good question. Handcuffs? Who did this to you? Wow, handcuffs? I have just the thing for that. You're in danger here. Quickly, go to the lab director's office. Well, what about you? I'll be there in a minute. Don't worry about me. <laughs> right, okay, well... Have a nice time, Dad. A red card. I wonder what it's for. Actually, I'm still carting around that blue card key, huh? There's nothing else in this room to interact with. Not a, not a bit. Not a one thing. Not a single solitary sausage. Now leave. Excuse me. Is there a first aid kit, like, anywhere in this room? Huh? It's moving! What's moving? I can't see. Your head's in the way, Alyssa. This seems normal to you? Those crayons are huge. Yellow liquid. Oh, they're like bottles, I see. Okay. I thought I thought they were like giant crayons. <laughs> Well, we're going back downstairs. I haven't quit the game after all this. I mean, I'm near the end, aren't I? It's like not that long. None of the Clock Tower games are that long, I think. Yay, bonk. <laughs> Just speeding that up every time. Yeah, after this game, the, the last game in the Clock Tower series is Clock Tower 3. Which I'm sure will be great fun for the entire family. Hey buddy. Father? Hurry, Alyssa, inside! What? Maxwell's coming. Huh? Maxwell? Alyssa, hurry, get inside! But, Father... I sense I've made a mistake of some okay. kind. Something happened between us. We're just going to... 
talk. Something happened? Between who? What are you talking about? Uncle Philip, father is just outside. Alyssa, now I finally know the secret of the Maxwell curse. Maxwell? Alan Hale. It was all his doing. The curse, it was only a rumor. Alan Hale? Maybe not. My father? Yes, your father. Your father. He's just outside, isn't he? Um... Okay, I'm going to save the game, but I'm going to do it in a new slot. It's locked, is it? I bet you... With this desk key, you can always unlock a desk. Crazy. A green card. Hmm, I wonder if it's important. I'm full of cards. What a card I am. Dang. A slot for inserting cards. Well, which card is it? Wrong card. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to just tell me. Oh, I'm a genius. It was red. So what, is, I'm going back down, but on like the other side, I guess. Oh. What? It makes you use it individually. Why? Every use. Anyway, guess where we're going back to? You'll never guess. It's- oh my god, it's every fucking door every time. Why? Such meaningless busy work. Oh, I've done done it again. I've hit light switch. Every zombie can work an elevator. Everything in the universe can work an elevator. And it can work it pretty quickly, too. Yeah, you know, an elevator that only I'm allowed to... Like, I need the key card to use it. I can't just use it. The zombie, though... <laughs> Wrong way.
Maybe they just expect me to be bait and like shoot all the zombies? Maybe? Possible, but I have not as of yet been presented with a good reason to turn back into baits. Because this, frankly, this, this, this is all taking ages and turning event cut on. When you turn event cut on, when you press square button on cutscene, it just skips. And then, boof, there you are. That's event cut. The primary reason this game's a faster run than the the, the other clock tower, because the other clock tower has no cutscene skip at all. Before I go in there, I want to save the game again. Not take on this game. Uh, it's bad. It's bad. Alright, it's bad. Good spawn position, champ. I can't mash out, I'm dead. Doesn't matter what I do. Clock Tower games I've played so far. Uh, this would be the third. There's only four Clock Tower games, so like I'm I'm three out of four. Anyway, we're going all the way back again, don't you know? Because we kind of have to. Unequipped my key card. Am I just what? Okay, the game fucked up. All right. No, you know, actually, just kill me. It it doesn't let you escape the room using a key card if the zombies are already in the room, so it just traps you in. What miserable fuck design this piece of shit. can't use the key card because it constitutes an item interaction, but you need to use the key card to open the door. So you just have to die. What a fucking stupid thing. What a dysfunctional piece of game design.
I've had to backtrack to that fire extinguisher five times now because they just did not put enough items in an entire stretch of the game. Like, even a cursory attempt at playing this would have revealed this problem. Among many others, I mean, it had one full-time QA guy, but you are supposed to play your own game when you make it, you know? Like, you know, the people who aren't QA? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know, the thing about this is that, like, I think the production values are, like, pretty good, which is why I'm kind of bewildered that the game design is so shitty. Like, this doesn't look that bad. Like, it's nicely modelled and textured and stuff. I know this is a bit of a bland hallway that I'm talking over this about, but you know. Was the other Clock Tower PS1 this bad for enemy combat? No. The other com the other Clock Tower game was definitely not this bad for, for enemy placement, although it was bad in similar ways with regards to how puzzle progression works. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, but it's a PS1 game. Everyone's legs consisted of three polygons back then. It's full of some yellow liquid. Groovy. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's 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 not it's not uh, it's not a bad looking game by any means. Like, enough effort has clearly gone into the visual presentation that I feel like they didn't just slap this out in a weekend. But then again, it was the PS1 era. It was much easier to make games back then. Well, much easier, quicker. Do you know Final Fantasy VII was famously made in like a year? That boggles me, considering like getting timely releases of any like big budget games nowadays is completely impossible. Like, what truly has happened to game development? I'm not really sure. That's not even really an insult. Like, what has happened to game development? I have no fucking clue. You despicable wench. Mood. You ruined my life. Your curse has befallen me. And I'll never forgive you for it. Uh. Oh, fuck. Well, I skipped the cutscene by accident because I thought I was going to get prompted. This is why having event cut on is dangerous, because I thought I was going to get prompted to mash buttons. I did it too early and it skipped the cutscene. I'm just going to assume Bates just punched her in the head or something. Because I'm not redoing that. Hold that. Yeah, time to make mischief happen. <laughs> Wait, am I the bad guy? No. Oh. If that was an ending critical cutscene, well, it, well, it, it will count. But I just, I didn't, I, we didn't get to see it. I'm sorry. Apparently I'm supposed to just hack up this dude's fucking corpse. According to the walkthrough. Time to- no, I'm not resetting. <laughs> I'm not resetting just to watch a cutscene deal with it. Oh wait, no, hang on, I cut- I want my amulet back though. <laughs> I forgot, I was like, I pick up a fucking amulet. Hey.
Well, I mean, of course they they weren't working on Kingdom Hearts 3, like, non-stop past Kingdom Hearts 2. Because, like, fucking 60,000 Kingdom Hearts games came out between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. I have heard people say that, and I know that's, like, that's, that's weird, it's weird and dumb that people say that. So of course they weren't working on it all the time. It's like the Birth by Sleep came out, Dream Drop Distance came out, other shit came out. Like how many fucking Kingdom Hearts games came out between came out between two and three? It was like like five, I think. It was a lot. It was many games. I don't know what's going on. I'm totally clueless. <laughs> it's You're clueless. Still poking around, Mr. Bowman. I've learned one thing. Maxwell was a chemistry genius. And now he's missing. Wow. Maxwell. That name. Maxwell. I'm about ready to jet out of here. You want to come with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, do you want to? Do you want to quit? No. Oh, okay. Well, take care of yourself. We're going. We're going for best ending. You too, Mr. Bowman. Door on key door. Hi. <laughs> I was just clicking on stuff, but all right. The curse. Alan Hale. Fooled me. Completely. Completely. He fooled. Even me. Uncle Philip, what did my father do? Alyssa. We were fooled. The golden statue. It... he... it wasn't the curse. It was all his plan. Watch out for... he... For you, too. He was fooled. Uncle Philip! No! Wait, 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 were you fooled, chat? I was fooled. A key. Oh, I've got to find my father. I can't believe how fooled we all were, chat. Is my father gonna kill us? Isn't that sort of the premise here? Why would there be a grave in a research lab? Sometimes people die on the job, Alyssa. Honestly. This... Is Uncle Philip's name? What's so special about that? <laughs> His name? I mean, like, it's not a grave. That's creepy, but, like, you know, like, <laughs> the way it was enunciated made it like, oh, you know, his name is weird. It's like, oh, man, his, his, he's got an Irish first name. It's like, what? I just never expected that. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, what about your name is remarkable? <laughs> I couldn't think of a, like, a, a, a remarkable place. Uh, there's nothing here. Look at all of this blood. Make that noise again. Look at all of this blood. <laughs> Look at all of this blood. <laughs> We amuse, we amuse ourselves. I bet you that key opens yonder door. It's locked. I bet you the large door key unlocks the large door. Wowza.
After exercising too much of my brain power, I will now save the game. Ooh, circular level design. That's almost clever. Wait, didn't I burn it? The statue. But why is it here? I thought I burned it. Oh, well. We're on the same page for once. Everything seems normal. Okay. Does it really, though? Okay, apparently now I need to go change into Bates. I'm 100% just letting the guide. It looks like he came from in here. What? Oh, wait, no, wait, that's where we, this is where we started. That's where we got dumped off by what's-his-face. Okay, right, no. It's a very weird way of expressing that thought, but I follow. I understand. Yeah, the level design has become circular. Which would be an almost intelligent way of going about it, were it not for the fact that I... I wonder what's in there. It, were, were it not for the fact that, you know, I couldn't circle back around at any point where I would have liked to have done so. Oh, no! <laughs> He's tired. He's a tired streamer. I am indeed always tired, streamer. I haven't been awake since, like, 1998, I think. Quick, I need infinite supply of medkits from this table. I wonder what kind of experiment they were doing. Isn't that when I was born? That would make me quite young. The line is dead. That's like 23, yeah. And I'm, I'm not 23. <laughs> I need to find a zombie. Now I can't find a zombie when I actually want one. Typical. I've murdered them all. I don't think I have though.
The line is dead. Nope. Why is this playing scary music? I've activated Hatchet Face, which I guess will do the job. Oh, hello. never not funny. Every time it's good. Yeah, that whole chestnut. Alright, relax, relax. We are! Damn, that guy took two full body shotgun blasts. You have to individually. You really could have just had it be one use. I don't. Why? 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 <laughs> okay, now we're here again, and now we're Bates. Game is just like real life. Real life fucking sucks! Sup, Dad? No, I don't know. No, 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 I just, just tried to leave. No. Hey, you. What are you doing? Beats. Beats! How sly. 
to go on about the Maxwell curse and all. So, you figured it all out. <laughs> Not surprising. Even if you do know, it doesn't matter anymore. Because it's all over now. What have I figured out? It's over? I'm not so sure. You should go down first. You do want to see the conclusion, don't you? Yeah! Conclusion! Woo! Car keys. Ah! And now it says, apparently I'm supposed to go back and, hmm. At this point it says, go back, get amulet. Because I need to be Alyssa for the next thing. But I'm kind of curious, what happens if I just go into this as baits? I'm going to make a save, make another save. Uh, I'm 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 on track to get the best ending because I did not feel like doing what I did for the other clock tower stream where I played through the whole thing or like naturally uh, got a shit ending and then had to redo the entire fucking game. That was not very fun. Labeled cerebral toxin. Gosh, there's so much of it. There's so much cerebral toxin. I mean, like that's like files about it, I guess. Well, there's nothing here. Seems like there's a lot here, if you ask me. Oh. That's a shotgun. Well, they, they were, they're... They're experimenting on people, clearly. Hence the number of zombies running around. It's a zombie game. It's actually not, like, Clock Tower about zombies. Which, it's more... Yeah. About zombies. I know it's technically been about zombies for, like, some length of time, but my- my- I've not really been, like, consciously paying attention to that. They're just sort of this weird, annoying obstacle to me. Going to let you escape? Oh. You're going to die here. What have I done? Shannon, stop! What a joke. Calling my name. Did you ever have the right to call me by my name? You abandoned me when I was just a little girl. Right? Next line. If you must kill someone, kill me. What good is there in getting revenge against Alyssa? Revenge? Maybe you're right. But there must be a better way. Next. What did she just do? What?
What a foolish girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Who is that? I don't understand My at all. Daughter. Huh? <laughs> I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all, dude. It's just a dude on a table. She's like, so. Is she's she's dead. Dead. My investigation's over. I just found Tate's body. There's no sign that the number of zombies is decreasing, and it's time to get out of here. Are you gonna try to escape? Why is that line like sped up? The zombies will get us and eat us if we stay here like this. Let's try to get out of here together. Is it, okay, is it just me, or are some lines like just sped up? Like, that's not a fast disk speed thing, because this isn't an emulator. Once again, we must refuse to escape. You sure? I just can't run away and leave things like this. Is it because they're just like, like synced to the speed of the Japanese voice lines? Like, so they had to just accelerate them to fit them in? Is that it? Is it like a localization thing? Because like, Final Fantasy X does that too, actually. It doesn't speed up the voice lines though, it just cuts them off. Again? Are you for real? Once again, there is absolutely nothing usable in these areas, is there? Alyssa, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> it's really gonna make me walk all the way back upstairs to get to the fucking fire extinguisher again. What a miserable video game. Why? What is this shit? This is so bad! What a fucking horrible use of a player's time. Jesus Christ. Never! If there are any independent game developers who happen to be watching this fucking stream right now, never, never believe you can't make g games. Never believe that you can't do it. You can't possibly do worse than this. fucking way back up the stairs, huh? That's really what we're going with for this. Like, look at all this backtracking. This is absolutely unacceptable. put any fucking items in like this entire level miserable miserable video game my 3ds is low on battery because i've left it in sleep mode for like a day and a half which means i'm going to actually turn it off properly <laughs> This is what I get for not actually turning my devices off. Charge! I'm getting a lot of use out of my 3DS. On account of no, now having one. I've been playing theater with them. A lot. 
And now I gotta go all the sodding way back down. It what? Uh, okay, never mind. I guess we're going back. Why <laughs> have a bunch of zombies respawned? This sucks. This sucks. At least it's close, but this sucks. Can I please play the game now? Please. I'm going to turn on event cut until I get back to where it isn't supposed to be. Once again, you have to manually use key cards on doors. It makes you do that. You just gotta do it that way. It was important, it was necessary. Okay, we've done it. We've made it back to the room where a zombie was. Event cut can go back off because I don't want to skip the cutscenes by accident. Save the game again. Can we just move on with our lives? Is it possible? Can it be done? What? I don't, why was there a zombie in that room, dude? <laughs> Fucking why? It's like the, I think that's the, the the longest possible distance from like a usable item in the entire fucking game. <laughs> I envied you. Your brilliant. Your wealthy family. Everyone must. Die. You've gone crazy. Talking to you won't do any good. Sorry, how rude of me to forget. Since I was the one who made you crazy. Father? Alyssa? You're... You're not my daughter. <gasps> you're the daughter of George Maxwell. Wow. Crazy. I was jealous of this man. So too. The Make twist is, is that we're adopted! I dug you up from the Maxwell's grave. What are you talking about? Father, I, d I don't understand. You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few generations. Cool. Ah! Will, that even, will this even work? No, it won't. Because my blinky thing is red. So uh, I hope everyone liked that scene because we're going to have to watch it again. You're out of from the first family. Everyone must die. You see, that is another crucial point of failure. Uh, in this game compared to the original, which is that if your cursor is red going into plot critical panic events, it will still kill you unavoidably for them. The other Clock Tower game does not do that because that's stupid. I never thought of you as a tool to harm anyone. So I. So I infected the statue with bacteria. 
to make him go crazy. Father! Goodbye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. What? This building is going to blow up. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> you infected the statue with bacteria? Why, Wait, why is he also dead? <laughs> Everyone must die. I'm mashing. You're not my father. Yeah! Lie down. <laughs> and then everything explodes. Checking memory card. Is this the ending? This is the intro, isn't it? Are we, we are we book ending? Are we ending where it began? Look at this! Look at this! I'll get him with this. Do you know what you're doing? Digging up the Maxwell grave? You think the curse is real? It's... it's pure absurdity. The curse of the Maxwells is just an old wives' tale. Yeah, I know, like, they found a, they found a live baby in a grave? I it's hard, isn't it? They did it to themselves. Everyone's didn't dead, they? and it's all my fault. Maybe so. What? <laughs> it would have been better if I had died. Maybe so? It's not that you've died there once already, you know. Well, I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. It's not going to be easy. So you game with us. Are you sure I didn't get the bad ending? I'm pretty sure that's the best ending possible. Is it a matter of atrocious localization or is it just bad game? Seems like it's just bad game. I don't think playing that in Japanese would have made that any better. Although it is also not a very good localization. Kaori Takazoe there for BGM, good work. Real pinch hitter for this game. Director, game design scenario, Yutaka Hirata. Go to bed. <laughs> no good. Sales. Ah, oh, good luck trying to sell this, buddy!
I wonder how many people still work in games. That, like, not in like a mean-spirited way. I know that kind of seems like it because this game is not very good. But human entertainment got absorbed into Chunsoft, didn't they? At some point, it was sometime after. It was sometime after this game. They made a bunch of shit for PS One, like Mizuna Falls and the Twilight Syndrome games. The Twilight Syndrome games are really good. The music's really good! <laughs> like, unironically, the music is just very good. Hot take on this game. It's bad, but it's not substantially worse than the other one. I think that's the thing that gets me about this game, is that while I think this game does indeed suck, I don't think it sucks that much more than the other Clock Tower game on PS1. I think that's my- I think that's- that's my thing here, is that I kinda think both the PS1 Clock Tower games kinda fucking blow. For a lot of the same reasons. What does my shirt say? Oshigatotoi. I can't fit the whole thing in frame. I think it lost. I think my camera lost focus when I did that. Uh, Oshigatotoi is a. It's a Japanese meme. It literally means something like, my favorite is precious. If I were to translate that to English, I would go with, I stan a king. It's, it's in that sort of vein. Or maybe, maybe something like unproblematic favorite. I change my mind about what I would like to translate this to all the time. Unproblematic favorite's a really good one, actually. You can see there's a tree near a house. It, there's a whole phrase on my shirt, okay? There's a whole phrase on it. The top hieroglyph. This is called a kanji. Thank you very much. My ending rank is eight. Time attack? Challenge time attack until you beat all zombies on the first level or the game ends. Cannot continue. You get extra bullets when you beat certain zombies. When you beat Maxwell and you're in panic mode without bullets. <laughs> eh? Ending list. Oh, I can press X. Not cleared. Not cle I only cleared M and A. I got the worst ending and the best ending with nothing in between. Let's, let's, do, let's do time attack mode. Go for it. It's showtime.
They're taking. I can't go any. You can't go any faster than this. This is just how the pace. This is just the pace of Clock Tower. Neither of those counted as as hits to the appropriate area. Apparently, I don't. I don't believe that. But if you say so. Like, I definitely hit that, and you'll never convince me I didn't. You gotta, you gotta like, get the cursor to be... I have nine bullets now, crazy. You gotta get the cursor to be, like... It, it's, it has to show red, which means that you, it, just getting it over the right spot isn't just all you need to do. Like, that didn't count, that didn't count. That did. Can these dudes spawn, like, really close to your face? It's a bit tricky. Got him in the knee. Oh, wrong room. Shit! I lost time. I lost time. It was bogus. I broke it. Can I turn on event cut for for time attack mode? Can I turn on event cut for time? I can! What am I doing? I'm losing time! So, but I'm... You see how the cursor would not turn red there? Bullets. Shit, should have known, should have known. Ah, fuckers. I tried to press the shoot and it moved me instead because they're both bound to the same button. Where am I supposed to aim? Feet. Feet. Even if I have it, it's wait, is it adding the time even with event? It is, it's adding the time! It's adding the time with event cut. It's not faster at all. What a fraudulent game. There's there's truly no hope for this one, is there? Trust the bathroom. Oh, this is this, this. No, the situation is is too. It's too much. There's not enough space to work with. I was not confident about it. zombies do I have to kill? <laughs> said all the zombies, right? But like, how many is all? I don't, I don't suppose there's any uh, healing items around here. You have, to, you have to master the combat system of Clock Tower 2 in order to work with this. Wait, I can go in the girls' bathroom as Bates? That seems illegal. I 
right in the foot. I can also, wait, I can go in every bathroom. Good. I regained ammo as a result of my courageous decision making there. Oh, no one's here. Well, this is where I started. Wait, okay, so what rooms have I and have I not been into? I thought I... No, I, I haven't been in here, but apparently there's no zombie in here. Maybe I have... Oh? 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 Maxwell? 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 I regained bullets. I have 13 bullets. No, I already went to the courtyard. Where have I not been? I think I've been in here. Oh, that's correct, I haven't been in here. I, like to, I, I just run away. Like, I've only got one hit remaining. I can't, like, play clever. Well, this, is, this camera angle sucks so much ass. I need to get on, like, the right side of the camera. Stop. Stop, this'll do. I can work with this. Yes, I think I can work with this. What is this fucking mode, by the way? <laughs> like, alright. I guess this is what we're doing now. What an extremely weird concept. I genuinely thought that called me before I left the room and I was about to be Omega Pissed. Wait, no, I can make this work from here. Oh, except I can't because Alyssa decided to leave the fucking room. Thrilling time attack gameplay. I was having some difficulty getting it to target there as well. All about that event cut. You can see how much time it saves as well, like demonstrably. Given that every time I walk through a room, uh, I it, the timer jumps by about six seconds. So every time you go through a door, you save six seconds of your real finite lifespan. This vantage point works for me, I think. There you go. Good enough. There are so many zombies to kill. Too many, one could argue. Is it the entire lab? I think it's the entire first floor of the lab, yeah. Foot! A zombie, a zombie in every room. There's enough space to work with here. Back out to the hallway.
mastering the combat, really understanding the nuts and bolts of Clock Tower 2. Victory over time attack mode! Impressive. <laughs> Spamming world record. Somehow I don't think so. But really, has anyone else even done this? Who knows? Who, I bet you. Hmm. Let's look it up, let's look it up, let's look it up. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. Someone's got to have done this. Someone will have done this. Let's see, what's the, what's the most optimal time? No, there's no times on speedrun.com for this. No one's done it. That's crazy. No one's done it. It's world record by default because no one has done Clock Tower 2's time attack. I'm googling it. I'm on YouTube now. Has someone done this? There's, there's a YouTube video. What time did they get? Theirs looks completely different from mine. This is score attack. This isn't time attack. What a bogus production. Damn, dude, this guy on YouTube- no, I found one, I found one. This guy on YouTube got nine minutes. I'm crushed. I'm destroyed. I'm eliminated. I'm completely- no, I'm just- I'm just- I'm fucking- I'm gone. Why am I even here? Poof. That's it. I don't exist anymore. I know. Okay. What the fuck is- okay. Is, is score attack just the same thing? Oh, the second floor. Unlimited bullets cannot continue. Beat a zombie. When you beat a zombie, a multiplier and a limit gauge will be displayed. Beat the zombie before the gauge runs out and the points multiplied by the rate will be added and the multiplier will change. So, like, it's the same thing, but just for points instead of time. <laughs> wow, you suck. Later. It's showtime. Right, except it's the second floor now. Ah, but it will, it will show me... It doesn't show me the weak point in score attack mode. But my, my limit gauge has increased. Shit, shit. It's in the foot again? Ah, oh, check it out. Ah, oh, the limit gauge. Ah, oh, crazy sequential kill. There we go. Rate 200. I'm earning big. That's too close. That's too close. It's in the knee. I got it. I'm a genius. I nailed it. Rate 1000. What a score attack. He understands. He understands the nature of gameplay. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is the worst. But, like, check out these points. They just keep increasing. Can I, can I open this door freely? Is that, like, okay? I see we are not doing locks in this game mode. Uh, it's gonna be the foot again, isn't it? Yep. Sure is. I'm gonna back myself into a corner here. I should have come this way later. The limit gauge is going to run out! I should have circled around. Come back. To, like, circle the group. Ah, oh, now I've gone and done it. Now I've completely fucked it up. I've blown it. Now I can recover. I can recover. 
Why are they all weak in the foot? What is this? Recovered it. Recovered the rate. I disagree. Shit, there's like no time to work with. Ah, no! Failure. Completely biffed it. A huge problem. No, it's okay, it's okay. I took some damage, but that's fine. Big points. Big. Who subscribed? King Treadmark. Thanks for the 10 months. Who is Gage and why are we limiting him? The power would just be too great if we didn't limit them, you see. Oh, head? Or just run into it because the controls don't fucking work. That works too, I guess. Are we not done? I thought that was all the... Hmm. What room have I not been in? It's not, it's not that big a... Alyssa, what are you doing? It's it's like, it's not that big a, a place. I guess getting grabbed decreases the, the, uh, the rate. Wait, what rooms have I not been in then? I thought I'd been in here. Oh, I have been in here. I'm getting confused now. My limit gauge reached zero. No, where even is the last dude? What the fuck? Oh, it's over here. Ah, I forgot about this room. Rather sequence of rooms since there's quite a few rooms here still, actually. Oh, now I can't go in the bathroom? Like now? Now you're limiting me? Typical. In the balls. Score is stored in the balls. Why did it get rid of my gun? I had it equipped and it like unequipped it. Hey. Explain yourself. It's, actually, you know what? I don't even need to care about that because I'm just going... For, it's score attack, not like time attack. No, can I go in the bathroom? It's the only room I haven't... Ah, oh, you just gotta click on it from the fucking top. Jesus. There is definitely not enough time to work with here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. No, okay, the controls. Never mind, I die. <laughs> Thank you, game. I couldn't leave the room. It wouldn't let me. Impressive. <laughs> but you died, Pates! I think that was the last enemy as well. Well, that was Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, or Clock Tower Ghost Head, or... It ain't good. It certainly was a struggle, but not from within. The struggle came from without. But yeah, uh, while I did think that was quite bad, quite bad. What is pamphlet like? Extras? Pamphlet is hint list, ending list, and I don't know what the third thing is. I don't care. Uh, while that was quite bad, I don't really think it was that much worse than the other Clock Tower game. And I've been saying that the whole stream, but this is like the end thing where I'm wrapping up. Uh, both the Clock Tower games on PS1, never were really that good. They're all, they're all pretty bad, actually. It's a no from me! So far we've played, uh, three Clock Tower games, and, uh, the first one was pretty alright, but, like, had a couple problems with it. It's alright. Character select is the other pamphlet, but you can't select a character in this game, can you? It's as good as the other- well, the next Clock Tower game you play is gonna be quite a different experience because it's like... It's the only one made by not human, I think. <laughs> not human, it was made by non-humans. 
Oh no, this game's made by Human Entertainment. Uh, and I think Clock Tower 3 is the only Clock Tower game that wasn't made by Human. It was made by... It was published by Capcom, but I think it was developed by Sunsoft. I think. I'm gonna have to Google that. I know it's got Capcom's name on the box, but... Developers, Capcom, Sunsoft... Yes, okay, I had that right. The main thing that interests me about Clock Tower 3, other than, you know, the fact that I've committed to playing all the Clock Tower games, is that it was directed by Kinji Fukusaku. Which is a name that I imagine a lot of you just tilted your fucking head at and went, huh? He's the guy who directed Battle Royale, the movie. Like, the, like, the dead ass, the movie. The movie Battle Royale, it's the same guy. He directed a video game. It was Clock Tower 3. Go figure. So, like, there's, there is, there is a pedigree backing that one. Yeah, no, it's the same guy, like, dead ass. The guy, the guy who directed Battle, which is a really good movie, uh, directed Clock Tower 3. He's one of the directors on it. Okay, just, he just decided at one point, I want to direct a video game. So he did. As far as I know, I think that's the only video game he ever worked on. It's hard to find complete information about this. Hilariously, one of the films he directed, uh... I'm looking- I'm looking through the list of things he directed, and not only did he direct Battle Royale, uh, one of the movies he directed, like, a full two decades before Battle Royale was a movie called Fall Guy. Well, then. I th that what, Fall Guy was the English title, the Japanese title is apparently Kamata Koshin Kyoku, which no, I don't know what that translates to, don't ask. I think, I think there's some names in there. Like, Koshin Kyoku is like, music march, but like, I think... Koshin's like a name, I think, I'm not sure. Like a place name, maybe? I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. I don't know! Abandon! It probably means something, I don't know what. I'm not educated enough, this music is annoying me. Stop, stop it, go away, leave me alone. No, no, not Koshien. Not like, not like baseball. Koshin. Anyway, we're done, we're done here today, alright? We're done. I have, I have no bonus, this stream has no bonus. No bonus, no bonus, stream, no bonus! We leave! I'm done with Clock Tower 2. I wonder if the speed runs any good. I doubt it, but I wonder. Yes, one down. If I if I go on to complete Clock Tower 3, which I will not do tomorrow. Not that I have anything specifically planned for tomorrow, but, you know, I just don't want to do two Clock Tower games in a row because these games frequently test my will to live. Then I will have done all the Clock Towers. Wow! Breaking my fucking voice trying to do that. Right now, let me see if there's anyone I can be bothered to annoy. Broadly, I think I'm just. I think I'm just gonna bounce. I'm just gonna bounce. I'll see you all later. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time. People already posted the social media links in my channel, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Not do the thing myself. I can get away with it. Yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night, everyone. I'm gonna, like, make a cup of tea or something. Ta-ta.